this is a quick comparison of the Gilio Germando. And this is a size small, which is field note size. And this is a Foxy Fix. I forget the actual name of it, but it's um, it's called an Abyss is part of the name. Um, I had gotten it from someone who had gotten it in a, the second sale because there are a couple of things that are a little bit less than perfect, but um, it's it's still gorgeous. Um, I gotten this one a couple weeks ago, and I just got this yesterday. So I wanted to. I've, I've just started setting them up, but I wanted to run through them real quickly and uh, show you some some differences. So uh, we'll start with the Gilio since it's new. Um, I added a couple of little charms, something to the bookmark, and uh, just a little pearl back there for fun. Um, it has pockets here. It has one pocket here, and it has the credit card pockets slots here, which is nice. I didn't put anything in them yet because I just got it yesterday, but um, it is very nice. I definitely like having some flexibility with pockets. And I have put four books from the Crafty Chi, which I love these books. And I just started rounding the edges. The edges are normally square. And I just started rounding them last night, but I noticed there's something wrong with my round punch. It's leaving little marks on the edges, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But I also have some, gosh, now I can't remember where I got these. They're um, folders, and they're very nice. They're a little stiff, but I'm sure they'll they'll soften up in time. Um, and I'm just using an Ollie clip, thanks to Sin from Hawaii, her brilliant idea, as my pin loop, because uh, I haven't decided what pin loop I'm going to use yet, but I found one that fits perfectly, um, and that's a Gilio fountain pin there. And and I I don't I'm still new with this whole traveler's notebook setup thing, so I'm not real sure how to put everything in. But I ended up putting these folders inside two notebooks just because it was easier that way to keep them from. Otherwise, if I put them behind the notebook, it pushed the notebook out, and these two stuck out kind of far where I have the two folders. So I just put them inside the notebooks. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I did. Um, another notebook with lines, another notebook with dots, and another folder. Um, again, inside that notebook. Um, and there's a lovely flap back here. It's a secretarial pocket, which is lovely. And a couple of differences. The, uh, the strap here is off-center on purpose. And... I'm not really sure why, and I'm not really sure what it's supposed to accomplish, I suppose. But, I mean, I don't have any problem with it. Maybe it just makes for a smoother inside back, you know, where the, the straps are. I'm not really sure, but it's a little bit off-center, and it's interesting. So, anyway, so that, oh, and the color is called gold, so that is the... Julio Gold Giramondo. So there you go. <clears throat> this lovely, oh, let me show you, well, I'll show you the differences in a minute, but is uh, a Foxy Fix. See a little Foxy Fix made in the USA. And it's, um, I say it's more like others I've seen, but honestly, I don't know. I'm still new to all these. Um, it doesn't have pockets, but the inside is dyed in a color very similar to the outside, so it's consistent. Um, I bought it secondhand. It came with a secondhand, pre-loved, um, and it came. Well, no, actually, she hadn't even used it, so it was uh, un, it hadn't unused. She got two, I think, um, exactly the same, and kept one and sold one to me. Um, it had the dashboard in it. Which is kind of nice, not this particular card, but it had the clear dashboard in it, so. And I got that card somewhere and I just stuck it in there. 
just have something in there. Uh, and these are just notebooks. Um, I can't remember where these came from. If she sent them to me, I had I had one. I think I had these bright colored ones. And then um, she sent a couple of, a, a set of three with them as well. And these are two of the three. Uh, I have one of these plastic things that hold cards on one side. And it's a zipper pocket on the other there. And here's a just a journal one. And I kind of use it for... It not really journaling, but just very short kind of, here's what's going on, you know, quick kind of reminder things or just things that, you know, like, whatever, just very short journal stuff. And this one is thoughts, which is similar but different, because this one really is just thoughts or things it's like, oh, you know, I need to, getting new furniture, so I need to look at certain things that go with the new furniture so it's not the to-do list I use this one as the to-do list things to do um, but this one is just thoughts things I need to we're getting a fence put up and I need to think about some what are we gonna do with the gates and what are we gonna do with the driveway and things like that so that's what goes in here um, I hadn't committed to the pin loop here so I just used some lovely washi to uh, tape it to the I guess it's the dashboard in the back side of it and this is a Julia ballpoint pen um, I think I like it but the thing about the color this is a brown pen loop well this is a brownish black color and it doesn't quite match but black doesn't match either so that's why I'm not fully committed so I may get an entirely different pin loop I don't know but the thing about this one thing is on this side it looks dark and then as you look at the edges it's it's becoming more brown the way it's dyed underneath which I love it's like as you stretch the leather you see more of what's underneath and I've seen people who actually do you know the stretching to their notebooks or their whatever to make the the underneath color come out I haven't been quite brave enough to do that yet to the whole thing but I definitely like the way it looks with the the brown more brown coming through from underneath I think that's very cool so um, one thing that's very different between the two is the thickness of the leather and the type of leather is different, but the thickness of the leather is, is the most different, I would think. The Julia leather is, is usually just amazing. It's always amazing. I love it. I've got some Julio ring planners, and I, I just love them. This feels a little different than those. It's a little more firm, but the thickness, maybe I should do it this way. If I can hold it with one hand. The thickness is astronomically different. Sorry, I'm having problems here. It's probably the fact the Foxy Fix is probably twice as thick. Um, but it's a different type of leather altogether. So I was a little surprised at the differences in the thickness of the leather. And maybe it's just because this is my first traveler's notebook ever. And I just didn't know what to expect, but I just absolutely love it. But the leather is, is just so thick. It's much more firm and harder, but it's just so much thicker. And the, the Gilio is more flexible. You know, you're able to, to do more with it. And over time, it'll soften and it'll patina and, you know, it'll just be beautiful. But... I don't know it just I guess I was surprised at the at the drastic difference in the thickness of the leather but you know it is what it is and I'm sure they both have different attributes and things that make me like them more and things I'm not so fond of but I love them both and I'm gonna start sort of working this one into my daily routine I'm not completely sure what I'm going to do exactly, but 
I know I'm going to use them both because I love them both. I just absolutely love them both. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick run through of the differences. Oh, the price. Um, gosh, I this one, I bought it from someone in London, I think. And it was oh, 120 to 150, something like that. I can't remember, but it was a lot. Um, this one is was in the 20s. It was less than 30. So I'm sure that, but it was made in the USA. It's not only did I buy it from someone here, but it's made here. And these are made in uh, Giulio in Belgium, in Brussels of all places. So a uh, huge difference in price, huge difference in quality, but definitely difference in price. So anyway, so that's a comparison of the two. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below and uh, I'll see what I can do to get answers. Thanks.